Tap, tap, tap in, collective. This is God's major oracle. I'm major oracle. Um, I'm a spiritualist. I'm a spiritual healer. I'm also a spiritualist teacher. Um, I'm here to guide the collective on their journey. Now, right now, I feel like I'm speaking to someone that's like a lost soul. But this, but this person is trying to find themselves. I feel like I'm speaking to one of the 144,000 twin flames. You are one of the 144,000 twin flames. You just haven't gotten into union with your person. The person that God wanted for you. I'm getting that. You know, it's it's hard to say, but and it, it's going to be tough for you to hear this. But the person that you're with, or the females, and I'm getting this as a, a masculine energy. The females you've been with, you've been with many. You could even have children, not with the person you're with. I'm getting you've basically been thought in it, you know, in a way in the past, and you want to change that. Um. Now, let me pull some of these cards. Now, this is for the collective. There's no gender in reading. Man, woman, take it as it resonates. But I'm getting a masculine energy. And not only just masculine. You're divine masculine. You just don't realize it yet. I'm getting New Jersey. Um, let me go this way. I'm getting broken hearted. And like, this is you. This represents you. A broken heart. A bleeding heart. Like, you've had so much loss. I'm getting September. I'm getting Virgo. I'm getting... You have childhood wounding, childhood trauma. Something happened to you when you were younger that really affected you. And I'm getting a lot of loss. You have many dark times. And sometimes you're like, why I go through this? It's because you haven't surrendered yet. You're one of the 144,000 twin flame unions. You're divine masculine. You have abandonment issues. Either someone left your life, like walked away, or people have, have walked away from your life. Or you have lost people in your life. I could be speaking to an earth sign. I get a person that he was young or she living life until boom, just tragedy hit at a young age. And I'm getting multiple I have here mother passed on mother I'm also getting probably diabetes chronic illness I could be speaking to a social media influencer or you heavy on social media I could be speaking to a Taurus, about a Taurus. I get, I love you, I love you baby. Could be from this mother figure. Or father, take it as it resonates. I get chronic disease. Older person, passed away from ailments. 
This person kind of didn't know they were going to pass too. It says, I see when you bring me flowers, you take your time picking, picking them. So for someone, they see when you buy them flowers and you take your time picking them. You're like really meticulous. You just, you, you want to get the best ones for her. I'm also getting away a passed away brother, male figure. Take it as it resonates. And I'm also getting like this person that passed away, this male figure, this brother could be older. He's so sorry. He's so sorry to leave you. Like, after mommy left, I, I'm sorry you lost me. It, it was my time, though. See, it's not what's the meaning of life. It's what's the meaning of your life. And at that moment, it might not have seemed it to you, but he found the meaning of his life. He served his purpose. See, when we pass away, we pass away because... We did what we were put here to do. God has a great design, a great story written. And once our chapter has passed, it's on to the next story. See, but you shouldn't feel bad for this person either. I'm getting they passed away young. This person that passed away, he got his wings. He made it into heaven. He had his ups and downs in life, but he made it into heaven. You will see him again. He wants the same for you. He wants you to make it into heaven. This is why you're going through what you're going through at this moment. I'm getting gunshot. I'm getting torso, head or neck. I'm getting park area or nightclub or chilling with the boys something like that I got bro I'm sorry it was my time and this person has a message for you he said do not lose yourself again don't do it he wants you to walk in your divine path I also have gun violence and it could be that the, I mean, seeing someone either going by and shooting. I know this person was with the people who he knew or he knew this gunman. I also got gunned down. What I'm giving you is channel messages. It says, please find peace in my passing. I'm getting this mother figure, older female figure. It was a long-term Ill illness. She knew she was gonna pass away. I'm also getting the floor is lava. Maybe you guys used to play a lot. I'm getting mother, son, strong gun energy. Park or club, lounge, head. I'm also getting, could be dealings with drugs or about money. Big family. You come from a big family. I'm getting cousin. I'm getting grandma, grandpa, grandparents, Didi, Dia, aunt, auntie. I'm getting daughter. I'm also seeing prison, prison over money. Could be child support, but all that has ended now. You don't have that issue anymore. 
for some of you, you're labeled as a deadbeat, but you're not. And I'm going to explain in this video why you're not. Faith. You're starting to walk in your religious path, but what you don't realize is that uh, religion came from spirituality. Groups of people took what they wanted and they left the rest and they broke it down into religions. Uh, spirituality created religions. What you don't realize is that you're also a chosen one. You're a spiritualist. You have a testimony that's to be spoken. God wants you to speak your testimony. We have faith. We have rest in peace. Again, goes back to loss. Lots of loss in your life. Lost people, lost time. I'm getting, again, with this broken heart energy. Wholeheartedly. You love with your whole heart. Even though your heart is cracked, you love with your whole heart. Your love is genuine. Uh, you could be or know someone from England or London. I'm getting X. Either your X or from the X or X marks the spot. Take it as it resonates. I'm also getting Greece, Reyes, I'm getting Jamaica or Jamaican, Latino or Latina, take it as it resonates. I'm getting upstate, New York or upstate New York. I'm getting the islands, or you're from the islands. You have to break your old patterns. That's what this is about. I'm getting dark night of the soul energy. I have to ask you a question. Do you know what the dark night of the soul is? I need you to research this. This is what you're going through. You're not sad. You're not depressed. You're not mourning. You are not a deadbeat. You are not a runaway. What you're going through is the dark night of the soul. And this is the overall energy for this read. I'm getting high school. I'm getting jealousy. This karmic relationship will not conceive. Sometimes you could be with a person for a long time and that person won't get you, um, pregnant. But there's a reason for it. You're not meant to be with that person. God brings babies to unions that he put together himself. Sometimes people are for um, a season. Sometimes we run back, run back, run back. It's like an in and out thing. We get together, break up, get together, break up. But we don't learn our lesson. What that's called is a karmic relationship. Please look that, that up. Um, you are divine. You are in your divine path as of right now. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You are in your divine path as of right now. Your soul is hungry. Because you're not aligned. Because you're not accepting your soul's path. But part of you is looking for your soul's path. Some things are not meant to be. You have to learn when things is over. But not only just over. I mean over, over. Like, let me, let me explain something to you. We can love people. People could be a catalyst in our life. Those people could have taught us lessons and supported us. Could be, come off a thousand times a good person. 
but I'm also hearing that song. You perfect, but for somebody else. Could be in, in your 30s. I'm also getting again broken hearted. I'm getting the number 15. I'm getting several numbers, 15, 30, 11, 2, could be speaking of two people, 2005, a father's love. This energy is strong, let me tell you. Well, th these words are so beautiful. A father's love. Either a father's love kept you afloat, or you are a father's love. But you're still a lost soul. You have to find your divine path. You're going through the dark night of the soul. I will explain briefly what that is. I'm getting also thief or robber. Rob or thief. I don't know, something significant about this. I'm getting 21. I'm getting Castillo or Castillos. May is, is really significant to you. We also have 2011. And again, two cards stuck together. Check this out. Multiple losses and grief. You cry so much to yourself. It hurts so bad. Whoever you lost, it hurts so bad. But see, I'm getting that this happened a long time ago. This is part of your dark night of the soul. You have to let these losses go and this grief. See, the crazy thing about, a, about death is that death is hardest on those that we leave behind. Headaches. I see somebody sitting in the edge of the bed just holding their head. Something about like the length of your hair or something like that. I can't explain that. But anyway, someone that likes to dance, likes to joke, likes to have fun, but deep down, very much in pain. You can make a whole room laugh. Grew up way too fast. Somebody here grew up way too fast, but I'm getting that they had to. 33 is also a significant number. 333 three, three also goes back to change. Again, like I said, you have a testimony. What this is, is just a bunch of cards stacked up, mixed up, and they come out as they go. We got Wheeler. For some reason with this, I see a dark vehicle. Malav could be a place, a name. I'm also seeing dreadlocks and Batwa. And we also had Jamaica here. And I had gotten three significant, well, I got a list of significant names. I got David, Taylor, Enrique, Maria, Wanda, Castro, Israel, Manuel, Martinez, Anna, You have to focus on your purpose. You can't look backwards. 
You got to dream bigger. And you have the opportunity of... I'm seeing the wealth. Like, you have an opportunity to be wealthy. But see, that's the crazy part. You could be in a room full of people that love you. You could have money in your pocket. Everything could be flowing good. But there's something inside of you that makes you want to run eventually because you can't handle it. But you're not running. That's the thing. You're not running. You're not hiding. You're not leaving. You're not being a deadbeat. You're not doing none of that. You're not being neglectful. You have to forgive yourself because what you don't realize is that's what the dark night of the soul is. You're going into hermit mode, into isolation. You're not running away. You're going into isolation. You're not hiding. You're going into isolation. That's what's part of the dark night of the soul. There's certain things that God puts you through, right? Because he wants you to go through the dark night of the soul. And see, that's the thing. Part of the dark night of the soul is you have to surrender. You must surrender. I am telling you to surrender now. Because if you don't surrender, God is going to make you surrender. It's like, sit your, or I'm going to do it for you type thing. You're not hiding. You're not running away. You're not leaving people. What you are is in hermit mode. It's called hermit mode. It's called isolation. It's called dark night of the soul. You're finding yourself there. You have a life purpose. You have a journey. You're special. You were meant to, you go, you went through childhood traumas and there's some traumas that you don't remember. And God wants you to remember. This is why you go into isolation mode. He wants you to remember because he wants you to heal. He needs you to heal because he wants to elevate you. He wants to transform you. You are special. You are chosen. You was put here for a reason. You're a spiritual healer. You're you're gifted. I'm hearing clear audience, clear um, clear sentence. Like like things happen. Like yo, did you hear that? Yo, did you smell that? Like I smell these flowers, or I smell the smoke, or you smell something that that that's the dead in a sense communicating with you. That spirit communicating with you. That's you being able to see and hear beyond the veil. I'm getting a lot of channel messages regarding this. But let's get into these cards. Cards never lie. Pre-shuffled. It comes out as it is. Let's get it. Yep. Right off the bat, boy. Divine. And I just heard a car horn. That's confirmation. It's divine timing when I play here. For every and anyone, uh, all my videos are timeless. And I'm playing free meditation music in the background. Yeah, divine timing uh, is here. The angels are here. Let them guide you. You're going to come across people, people like me even, that is trying to help you understand what's going on with you. Before you lose yourself again. Yeah, take it one day at a time. Yeah, it's better better late than never. You at your life's path, you know that? You are at your life's path. You are at a journey that you're looking for the meaning of your life. And you're there. Yep, what I tell you, lies don't car, like cars don't lie. Excuse me, it's not too late. I'm like tongue tied because the energy is fierce. It's not too late. A lot of things to come this year. You thought all the other years were hard. This year is hard because you're finding yourself. This is a, a you year, about you year. Until your lesson is learned. Exactly. Have you learned your lessons? 
Have you learned your spiritual lessons? Have you learned your karmic lessons? Have you learned when to leave certain people, places, and things alone? Have you learned? Because every time you do it, it's just going to get harder and harder and harder because you're not meant to be there. And that's okay. Fall time is significant. We have April out here. We have August. We have September. We have the winter. And right next to that is January. We have May. What these cards are is just timing cards. That's all. Now, this deck is a deck called Messages of Closure. We're going to just pull right from the top. Sometimes I didn't know what to do. I'm getting like this is you. Sometimes you didn't know what to do, so you booked it. You just broke out. It makes me happy to see you heal. You are on your healing path, on your spiritual journey. Someone wants to know how can they help you. Happiness is not a betrayal of me. It's okay to be happy. It's okay to be you. It's okay to find yourself. It's okay to work on yourself. See, that's the thing. You're the type of person that you've been living off of the opinions of so many people. When you are in the dark night of the soul, that's one of the paths. You have to silence the voices. I could understand if these are people that you look towards uh, for guidance, help, love, whatever it may be. But even those people, you have to silence them in your brain. Because what God wants you to do is to listen to your soul. He's giving you messages. The Spirit is giving you messages. He wants you to listen to Him. He wants you to be guided by Spirit. We got, do you feel my presence? I feel like sometimes you feel like your passed on loved ones is with you. Either you hear or you smell. And that goes back to being gifted. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're gifted. And, and your, your gifts are just like scrambled inside of you. They just want to burst out. So you, you feel sad and depressed and alone in a room full of people sometimes. I left a piece of me in you. Everything that you are, they were. They were a catalyst in your life, these passed on loved ones. They taught you. You got to remember your lessons. Would they want to see you cry? I get like someone comes to see you all the time. But bro, every time I see you cry, I can't stay. I can't sit here and watch you cry. I don't want this for you. The scent and blinking lights are me. I can't make this up. I'm just going through the cards as is. Some part of me knew. Yep, I'm getting... Spiritually, one of these people knew they were going to pass because they felt God's grace prior. And also because... They feel like they, they got to their life's purpose. See, this male figure, his life purpose was you. Was you. To get you past a, a, a difficult time. I wished... I wish you love and happiness. Yeah, exactly. This person don't want to see you like this. This person wants you to be happy. 
this one person wants love in your life. But in order to do that, you have to go through the dark night of the soul. You have to accept your calling in life. You have a calling. I live my life through you. Can't make this up, collective. This person lives through you. These people live through you. You will get through this. You see? This person's like rooting for you. This person, this male figure, even this female figure, but this male figure, he's like your biggest fan, bro. Like, that's my bro. I am so proud of you. This person's, the reason why this person was put here on this earth was to help you survive. To get to the next level because you're divine. I'm sorry I left you while you were young. Do you see that? I am sorry I left you while you were young. Yes, I heard you. I'm getting you was in the hospital and you were speaking to this person or it was an at home thing or you were speaking to this person and you was wondering the, the state that this person was in. You was wondering if they could hear the I love you's and please don't go. They heard it. They want to know if you can hear them now. You need to silence your mind, silence your heart, silence the people around you. You have to go within and you have to find you. And only you can find the true you. This what this facade you you've been putting on is not you. I see all that you do for others. You're such a sweet person, such a giving person. You care about others. Your love is genuine. And I'm getting that's what it is, yo, too. You you like a bowl of love. It might have a crack in it, but God is trying to fill that crack. You have to surrender. Do you feel my touch? I'm getting like when these passed on loved ones are around you, like you feel something like, like what is that? Like maybe sometimes it feels like a little hair on you or something or a little, you know, makes your hair stand on end. I love you. You heard that? I love you. They love you. They don't miss you because they're always around you. The only time they leave is when you, you're sad and you're depressed and like crying. Please forgive yourself. You didn't do nothing. This wasn't your fault. You hold so much guilt over the passing of these people and you're not holy. I regret the times we lost. I know you're having trouble trusting. I support your path. And we're going to leave it there with these cards because... That's the whole point of the dark night of the soul. You are on your soul's journey, your soul's path. God wants to give you your wings. God wants to give you your flowers. You deserve it. You feel like, yo, I have done so much in life in so many aspects. You could even have children or a child. I'm hearing children or you had... You was with someone that had a boy, but wasn't yours. And I'm seeing a strong little girl here. Now let's just grab the next deck, see what it is. I see, I can't make that up. Look, I just opened this box.
see what this is. I just opened this box. Oh, check this out. I support your path. What does that look like? No, for real. What does that look like? That's your soul's path. Your soul's journey. To enlightenment. To divinity. Do you know what divinity means? Do you know what a divine masculine means? Do you know what a karmic relationship means? I'm going to need you to look this up. What this is, is the Kipper deck. I can't make this up, Collective. I keep getting a main male. Masculine. Divine. And the next card up. Change. Look at all these pretty cards together. We have change, a main male, and a divine path. You're changing. You're elevating. Do you understand what that means? You're not sad. You're not depressed. What you're going through is the dark night of the soul. You're finding your life's purpose. And you you are so close. And the feelings get more intense the closer you get. Let's pull out some letters. Simple letter deck. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We got P. M. J. H. K. T. I. D. R. That's funny. D. R. Could be D R P R. Got L. Got W. We got A. We got S. We got E. We got C. We got B. And again, we got X. X marks the spot. Now, this could be the name of you, first or last. This could be initials or the names or the AKA names, the street names of anyone you're dealing with. This could be the letters of the names of your passed on loved ones. You take it as it resonates. Leave the rest. What else we got? Let's pull some off top here. 200 cards here. I don't want to pull everything. It says, Parting of the ways in either romance or business. Something has to end so something can begin. It says, Parting of the ways in either romance or business. Broken ring. So I'm getting like something's not meant to be. You want it so bad or either the person wants it so bad, something to be. You can't stay with someone because you feel sorry. You got love for them, but it's just something that's not clicking. It's because both of you are on two different levels. You are on your divine level and this person isn't. You're divine and this person is karmic. This person has to find their own path. And even if that person does find their own path, that doesn't mean that person was meant for you. Yes, some people are a blessing. Yes, some people are a lesson. Some people are for a moment's time. But some people, they serve their purpose. And there's nothing wrong with that. It says young man's dealing with a relationship with a younger man. 
See, and this guy got long hair. Says young man. You could be a young man. You could have longer hair, I guess. Uh, it says, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Cobweb. Yeah, that's the thing. When you're on your life's purpose, your soul's journey, there's going to be so many, like, obstacles and not only obstacles in life i'm talking about in the ethers like you know the devil likes to get you when you're down bro the devil likes to use the past against you and i'm seeing for some reason i'm seeing a lot of random like comments or something or like people's opinions f people's opinions of you who are they? Do they pay your rent? It shouldn't hold. See, people's opinion of you should not matter to you. This is the whole purpose of the dark night of the soul. F what they say. They don't even know your heart. They don't know what's inside. You are highly thought of. The divinest thinking of you is both. And again, this person, this male has long hair. The divine is thinking of you. God is with you. Your passed on loved ones. Your family loves you dearly. They want the best for you. It says control your angers or you will be sorry. Lightning. You get pissed. But you try to control it. Because that's you know deep down that's not you. It says unicorn, using your intuition to make beneficial changes. Yeah. Going back to intuition. You're a real intuitive person. Like, and you listen to the winds. Like, nah, let me go not go that way. Or nah, I'm getting a feeling not to go this way. That's your passed on loved ones too. They protect you. Can't make this up, yo. You peep what I just said? And Lily, spiritual love. And I'm hearing like at the funeral there was lilies. You could smell the lilies. This isn't an intuitive messaging. I'm an intuitive reader. We have a stubborn, aggressive person, a ram. And I'm also getting Aries. There's an Aries around or something like that. Hard-headed. You could be hard-headed, bro. Cabeciduro. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. You're looking for guidance. You do have people that are trying to guide you. That's the thing, though. God is trying to guide you, too. When you're going to listen to him. Chain, chains of events that will affect your life. Chains of events that will affect your life. Yeah. You had a lot of change of events. Broken hearted. Keep seeing a broken heart. A full broken heart. But it's whole still. Bear. Hold on. Uh, we have, oops, dropped it. Beware of greed. There are some people that are around you currently that they see that you have the ability of becoming great. That you have the ability of being rich. That you have the ability of becoming famous. They see this ability in you. They don't see this ability in themselves. But they want to ride your coattail. Like, I'm getting you have a business. And this person wants their business to strive because of your business. It says here, pig, beware of greed. Sometimes it's about the money deep down and what you could do for this other person. Don't get me wrong. 
this person does work hard for theirs, but they feel like with you, they could get that clout. We got Parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. We got beep, beep, beep. People always talking, chatter. I hear a lot of chatter, comments, like opinions. And opinions is like a-holes. Everybody got one. Who cares? Those opportunities are waiting for you. Yeah. Even the gates of heaven. God wants to be able to open these gates for you one day. But he needs you to walk in your path. In order for him to give you your wings. In order for him to allow you into the kingdom of heaven. You will have to walk on your righteous of paths. The reason why you was put here. You was put here for a reason. And I'm getting like you're supposed to meet somebody. A stranger. This person will bring you a lot of clarity. This is person is closer than what you think. You have to have some you time. Like a walk in the park. I, I see you running a track. I see like you don't have a lot of time. Your time is consumed. I get that. You need you time because this isolation period, people take it all oh, like he not going to show up. He not going to do what he got to do. But that's not what it is. You need you time so you can find yourself spiritually. Okay. I, and again, ten, temporary situations. This is temporary. What you're going through is temporary. temporary. And I'm also getting like people. Some people are temporary, but you haven't gotten that clue yet. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insecure. We have a feather. I'm getting more insecurity. This person's jealous. This person doesn't give you you time. I could say it's because this person doesn't want to lose you. But I'm getting more like this person doesn't want to lose what you have. They see what potential you have. Funny, I was about to put these cards away. Look what's on the feather. Feather. And you could even take this as... Uh, Angel wings. God is trying to give you your wings, bro. Whoever you are. Now, I have some channel messages. Let me read that out to you. Again, you are one of the part of 144,000 Twin Flame Unions. I need you to research Twin Flame. Your person is looking for you. Your person is closer than what you, what you think. And I'm getting like the person is a bit older. You two are beautiful souls. You two were binded together in other life, in other past lives. I'm hearing 17. You went through childhood traumas. That person went through childhood traumas. The person that you're with currently has not been through childhood traumas. Cannot relate in that level. See, the reason why you went through childhood traumas and your real person went through childhood traumas is because you people are chosen. Uh, it's never easy for a twin flame union. It doesn't collide smoothly as people think. You understand? I'm hearing one is light skin, one is dark skin. I'm hearing uh, focus on your purpose. Don't look backwards. Dream bigger. I'm hearing high school. I'm hearing the signs Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, 
Cancer, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius. I'm hearing one year. I'm hearing we're together, we're not. We're together, we're not. We're together, we're not. You got to figure out what you want to do. Do you want to surrender like God wants you to? Or do you want God to force you to surrender? Let me tell you something. If God has to step in and force you to surrender, that ish is going to hurt. You're going to lose people. In, in a worse way, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? People are going to walk away in a worse way. Because when God comes in to end a situation, he ain't playing. You were put here because he put you here. And you were put here for a reason. He needs you to do your job. Because this book we call life, there's a chapter. And in order before the story or someone else's story to get to the next chapter, you would have to say your paragraph. It's like a ripple turning into a tsunami. He needs you to make that ripple. What else? Um, I'm getting 50s to 60s. I'm getting August. I'm getting 1963, 1968. I hear bilingual. I hear locks, like dreadlocks. I'm seeing piercings and tattoos or tattoos you could even have gotten a memorial tattoo of your passed on loved ones and again i'm hearing the devil will use your past against you the devil is throwing at you right now you know the devil don't want you to walk in your path right he's gonna send you illusion uh the the devil is great illusion illusionist so he's gonna send you somebody that person's going to look great. And uh, this person's going to fit you to, looks like it fits you to the T. Like, yeah, this is my person, but that person is really not. And it's not that person's fault. It's, this is the way the devil works. He's putting illusions in your life. I'm hearing rebirth. You're at a spiritual rebirth. I'm seeing Spanish, carpenter, tools. The month is May. Time for change. What else? Um, I'm just looking at my notes. You are meant to be wealthy. And see, that's the thing with this twin flame. You're meant to be wealthy with your twin flame. You both have an idea that is supposed to come together. This is the thing with a twin flame union. You both have an idea that is supposed to combine, that is part of God's plan, and this plan is meant to come into fruition. Now, the karmic relationship you're in currently, that plan will never happen if you don't sever ties. You have a journey, and part of your journey is to meet your twin flame. And to create with your twin flame. See, your twin flame is someone you was married with. I'm hearing 17 past lives. This is your wife, your real wife, your past life wife. It says, have compassion on yourself. Use your talent. Walk in your life's purpose. You're feeling burnt out. You have to let it go. You feel confused. You're a tough person. You need to get some rest. It ain't always work, work, work. Sometimes take go, go to your nearest track and field and take a walk. You could be a person that works with their hands. See, carpenter and tools. You're a gifted person. You're divine. Now, let me look at my other index cards. 
And again, dark night of the soul. This is a dark time for you because you are having your awakening. You cry some nights to yourself. Your soul is hungry. Your soul is heavy because your soul is not living in its purpose. Looking for your life's purpose. Sometimes you feel lost. That's the thing. It feels like depression and sadness and darkness and all that. But it's not. You're going through an extension, an awakening. It's not emptiness or disconnect or low energy, poor sleep, feeling numb, losing interest, feeling helpless. It's because you are a chosen one, an earth angel. You were put here for a reason, collective. Um, again, feeling lost. What is your life's purpose? You are a divine masculine. You are seeing parts of your soul, of yourself, just breaking down. But that's what the dark night of the soul is an ego death. God is stripping you away of what you think you are. And he's putting in place what he wants you to be. You have to surrender. Have you surrender? Because if you haven't surrendered, he's going to make you surrender. You are seeing parts of yourself healing childhood wounds. You have to heal. You have to let this. At some point, you got to tell yourself, okay, that's it. From this day forward, I will no longer mourn your death. But I will celebrate your life. When are you going to start celebrating your past on loved ones? And not mourning them. That's part of healing. If you're still crying over it, you're still wounded. If you're still wounded, you can't heal. If you can't heal, you can't surrender. You could go to church a thousand times. But if you don't do this in a work, it's not going to work. You are going through a spiritual awakening. Part of a spiritual awakening is you have to leave the toxicity behind. And the person might not necessarily be toxic, but the situation is toxic. It's not meant for you. And if it's not meant for you, then it's toxic. God, That's not what God wanted for you. You're walking on that person's path, not your own. And then think about it. If you're not with your divine union, your divine counterpart, the person that God wants you to be with, then that means the person that you are with currently, you're hindering them from being in their divine union and their divine counterpart and their, their path. And you're hindering that person from getting their wings. You're hindering that person from getting to the gates of heaven. Sometimes we get confused. We think the person that we're with, just because we like the same color. And it's funny because I see blue here. What else I see here? Black, blue, I'm also seeing red and green, but just because y'all like the same color doesn't mean that's your person. God chooses your person. You don't choose your person. You got to ask yourself, what else? Why am I here? What should I be looking for? You are looking for a better version of yourself. That's what you should be looking for. You got to shut off all the voices around you, even if they sound loving. You have to honor this grief. You have to mourn this no longer and honor it. It's time not to be sad for them no more. They're okay. You're not. And if you ever want to see them again, and, and and be in eternal grace in God's grace and to dwell in the house of the Lord forever, then you have to heal this part of yourself. Honor your grief. It's okay to walk away from people. 
It's okay to go within. It's okay to find yourself. You're going through a, a spiritual extension. Read up on it. So you can understand. Look back at all the key words I said in this video and read up on it. Again, you are a chosen one. You Sometimes you feel emotionally numb. Right now, you're just playing the part. Playing the part. Pay the rent. Go to work. Pay the rent. Go to work. Raise the kids. That's it. But see, that's the thing. There's something in you that everything could be going good. You, you, you following the typical structure of this earth. You're not following the structure that God wants for you. You think God just wants that for you? For you to go to work, home, work, home? No. He has a journey for you. You, For some people, let's say you don't go to work and you go take that walk. And you don't drive your car that day. And you avoid hitting somebody and changing destiny for someone else. Let's say you turn that corner and, and you help someone out. Or you speak to a stranger. And you help that person out because you are a spiritual teacher. Then you just change destiny in the better, the way God wanted it. You have to surrender. For some people, they would go into drinking, smoking, all that, or some type of bad habit. You have to leave your bad habits behind. And see, that's the thing. You don't. You. I'm getting that you're not a drinker, a smoker. Or, or, or much of a drinker. But see, that's the thing. Even people can be a bad habit. Okay, it says, what else? Like I said, you're a spiritual teacher. Sadness, grief, that's all interfering with your divine purpose. See, the sadness interferes with work and family and social life. This is affecting you. You don't even want to do what you normally do. What you normally find fun, you don't even want to do that. You're not finding fun in fun no more. Because you're not walking in your path. But I, in order to get that alignment, that spiritual alignment, you will have to isolate. Hermit. Go within. Have time for yourself. Take walks by yourself. For some, you, all you do is drive. Get out the car. Take walks by yourself. You're supposed to meet somebody that is going to be a catalyst in your life. You're supposed to meet someone that is supposed to change you. How do you expect to meet your divine counterpart who God has for you if you're always at work or you were always with the wrong person? We, some of us are parents. We love our children. But who are we if we don't find ourselves as a parent, as a person? Because before you, were, you, you became a parent, you was born a male. You was born into this world. You are so many other things. How can I be whole for my child if I myself ain't whole? Sadness is interfering what your divine purpose is supposed to be. Your soul is screaming at you. At times you have headaches, physical pain, sluggish, tired, can't really sleep, feeling down, unmotivated. And you, I'm getting like, you're a normal, funny person. You like to laugh and all that, but oh, is, this is messing with you. You not being true to yourself. You are not healing the part of you that God wants you to heal. You need to heal yourself. You are a very hard person on yourself too, I'm hearing. Like I kick myself in my... Mm. Okay, now. Basically with this video I'm getting, and I'm going to title that, Dark Night of the Soul. Dark night of soul is an isolation period of healing. Do you hear what I'm saying? The dark night of the soul is an isolation period of healing that God wants you to go through. In order to do that, you have to isolate. You have to hermit mode. You have to think about you. 
Everybody's okay. You know that? Everybody's okay from the youngest one to the oldest one. Everybody's okay. But you're not. You have to live for you. It's not being selfish. It's finding your purpose. And I promise you, once you go on this dark night of the soul journey, you take time to yourself. You end karmic relationships and situationships. And you go within, I promise you, things are going to look so much different. You're going to understand. Right now, you don't understand. See, the dark night of the soul, you got to ask yourself certain questions. What is it? What do I do? Some ask, how does it make you feel? How does it affect you? Some effects that if you don't go through the dark night of the soul, this could lead to a worse place. God wants you at the kingdom of heaven. You have to find acceptance. I accept that they're gone. I accept that they had to go. I accept that it was their time. I will no longer mourn them or grief, have grief over them. For some of us, our children are growing up. I have to accept that. I, I feel like you have children or a child that loves you. That child's okay. More than okay. That child's destined to be great. That child worries more about you than you do them. Why? Because you don't realize you're the one that's in jeopardy. Your soul's in jeopardy. Your spirit. Because you're not walking on the path God gave you. This child's fine. You have to surrender. You have to go within. You have to see what's not for you. What God doesn't want for you. With some people, you got to say, I love you. But I release you with love. You understand that? I release you with love. No hate. No animosity. We still cool. You perfect. But just not perfect for me. You're not the one that's for me. And I'm not perfect for you. If you making someone cry out there. God let them go. And if that you're crying, you gotta let that person go. You gotta understand that that person is not for you. You keeping that person from their divine path. You are hindering that person. You have to say, I let you go, and I let you go with love. And it's all about self care, too, with the dark night of the soul. I'm about to wrap this up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like this video. Leave me a comment below if anyone ever wants to talk. I have my email there. Share this video. I would love to get a thousand subscribers so I could go um, live one day, I hope. Um, words of wisdom. Go outside. Take you time. And karmic relationships. Say I, I surrender to God. And I let you go with love. Date yourself. Go for a run in the park. You're going you, you're gonna to meet other people. Part of your soul tribe. People that are destined to meet you. For reasons. There's even people that you're supposed to have a simple conversation with. And that could save their life. But you can't do that because you're too busy trying to fit the mold. Trying to be the perfect parent. The perfect guy. The perfect worker. But that's not you. That's breaking you. Soul wise. Okay. So like I said. This is God's major oracle. I'm major oracle. Major Oracle is a position I was given by God. Um, and as always, Collective, may your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, the angels protect you, and heaven accept you. Now it's time to tap, tap out, Collective, and as always, peace be on to you.